sentencing took seven days in court because you allowed a lot of people to give a voice, impact statement wise, which thrilled me to no end. I think it's the biggest gift that you can give a victim is to believe them and give them a voice and a safe space. Now, there's a moment uh, during Judge Aquilina's sentencing that ended up going viral. What I did in the state cases was medical, not sexual. The media convinced them that everything I did was wrong and bad. They feel I broke their trust. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. The judge told Nasser his treatments were not medical. And what went viral about that was the... Yes. <laughs> toss of the letter. Did you mean anything by it? Oh, yes. I don't... <laughs> it's garbage. I don't believe it. And you are trying to control me, and I will have no one control me, especially a predator. Yeah. Um, well, Judge, it's good to see you again. Thank you for inviting me once again. Thank you for giving everyone a voice because the research shows that 35% of patients believe, even after they've reported, that they did something wrong and that it must have still been medical and they don't trust their gut. And I hope that Everyone is paying attention because today's show tells people, trust your gut. It's okay to be wrong, but damn, if you're right, look, it affects everybody. Yeah, I, I'm glad you said that. And you guys all have, have worked through that, but you said it was a process, right? I'm still working through it. Yeah. And the scars will be with me the rest of my life. Yeah. And... You say that the grooming, the gaslighting, the love bombing that goes on uh, that's used to control the victims by their doctors, whether it's the trainers, institutions and all, um, this is a strategy, this is a technique. You, you heard it. it, it was the same with all five of these. And here's four women and, and a man from Michigan that have never met, never intersected in their lives in any way but they were all victimized in the same way. Stakes very high, I'm the only one that can do this, you gotta rely on me. And they all stand with this university validation behind them. And it's, it, it's all a power differential. It's predatory behavior, it is a betrayal of trust. There's also ghosting in there. Sometimes they'll say, well, I'm not gonna see you anymore. And of course that makes the victim even feel worse. Like, oh my gosh, I really was wrong. And this power and control that they have is really, uh, it's what I see every single day on my bench with predators. They want control. They enjoy having this heightened um, glory over another human being. There's no stronger uh, aphrodisiac than man against man, and I am in control of you. And that's what they are. It's about control. It's, it's about power. It's not about sex. It's about that power, what they can do. And what they're doing is they are putting uh, their practice and themselves over the best interests of patients. And we need to flip that script. And that's what you are doing here today. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.